So there we go, we've got to this part and what I've got to do now is fit this to that and because it's curved you, you can sort of tap it on, feed it around a bit, tap it on, feed it around a bit, tap it on, feed it around a bit but it gets a bit tricky um, and, and fiddly and then the idea struck me a while back was probably making it too difficult for myself so this is a, a similar piece of steel thin strip so it's nice and movable and it's cut flat on one of its edges and essentially if the armor pixies are with me with a twist on the end there you fit this to that it's easier said than done sometimes because we've annealed this this is nice and relatively soft now There we go. Because that edge is straight, I can straighten up the bit of brass. Tap it down onto it. So it's nice and relatively secure. Straighten it off again. I'm just checking it's on either end, which it just about is. And then we move to the horn on the anvil. Just moving that down a bit so I've got a bit of space on either end. Now just like I do with most work, start the curve off with the hammer on the edge here. Always return to make sure it's tapped on. Don't worry too much if it drifts off because you're always going to be re uh, setting this up. And now, because the steel's thin and the brass is annealed, you can start working it round by hand. I just found this to be a bit quicker and the times I can do it then forming it directly on the actual piece. Then we get to the same one here again. Just tap that round. So it's curved nicely. Cinch it with your hands, whatever it is that needs to be done. Not big movements, keep them small, otherwise you will just drop a line into this. You end up with a crease in it. There we go. Get our bit that I'm marrying this to. And just do a quick compare. Oh, look at that. Not far off. Maybe a little bit more open on the end. We'll twist around and ride up and that, just tap it back. Like that. Don't have to be too accurate at this stage. And then sometimes this just comes off or I might do it off camera. There we go. If it gets a bit stuck, you can just open it a touch and that often relieves some if not all of the pressure. There we go. Not quite. So I'm just going to work this off. Where are we go? There we go. And now you'll be nine tenths of the way to this one. So we'll move back over here and we'll take a look. Now you offer it up, find the middle, see if it's close. Not bad job. A bit of a tweak there. You have to be careful there because there's nothing in it now. You can crush this and it won't fit. What I found is you get the two ends on. Oh, it's not quite going to do it. Needs a little bit more work on the other tool, possibly. You 
can sometimes walk it on if you're lucky. And the armor pixies are with it. Oh, there we go. Check the backs in. Just walk it in from. Didn't want that to happen. Voila. Make sure it's all on the anvil. And there you go. Roughed out and fixed, and now you can start filling about with it, drilling your holes, cleaning it up, doing whatever. So I just found using that bit of bent steel, which I've now thrown away and be looking for later. There we go. Using this has been an absolute time saver. You just set it up ready for the next one or chuck it in your scrap bin and just cut another bit from the scrap when you need it but it just makes forming those so much quicker in my opinion there you go hope that was useful to you and um, good luck decorating the hems of your armour